What's up guys, welcome to the experimental tube, the place where we make and break stuff. So for the hypercube build, uh, I will be using these silicone heater mats. These are fed from the grid, so we need something to separate the Duet Wi-Fi from the grid. And that's what we'll do uh, with these Fotec uh, SSRs, these semiconductor relays. So a while back I got this box with relays and had a look at it and they were okay-ish, but I had some doubts. So after some googling I quickly found the website of UL and they were giving out some warnings that there were a lot of fake ones uh, in the market. And of course I also got these fake ones. These are just a tad too cheap to be the real ones. So I thought let's have a test. So I did some testing, I did some endurance testing, temperature testing, high voltage testing uh, among the others. Um, did this a while back so video quality is not the best but bear with me for this one. Okay, let's have a look at the tests. So first have a look at the UL website where you can clearly see the warning for this. Uh, the difference between the real one and the fake one, for instance, is uh, rated 25 amps max and Taiwan made. These marks are on the original ones and not uh, on the fake ones. In addition, you can see that the lower right corner uh, of the real one is beveled and on the fake ones it's just a normal 90 degree angle. I will place a link from the UL website in the description below. So first I start with the temperature rise test and as you can see I put a thermocouple on the case and on the housing. As you can see the maximum temperature at 250 volts 10 amps is roughly 45 degrees uh, Celsius. This is after about 2 hours of continuous uh, working. So here I'm running an endurance test, um, testing for 10,000 cycles with uh, 250 volts, 10 amps at a resistive load. So I'll have a look here if it passes and in the end it did pass. So that's a, that's a quite a good result. And 10 amps is also more than sufficient for me because I'll probably only use a maximum of 4 or 5 amps uh, uh, continuous use. So 10 amps is, is overkill for me. Okay, so now I'll perform a high voltage test uh, between the low voltage DC and the high voltage AC side. I will do this for one minute with a voltage of 2500 volts. So up till now no current flow, so that's encouraging, so that looks good. Let's speed it up a bit. So this seems to pass. Uh, this, yeah, this is definitely okay. 60 seconds, 2.5 kilovolts between AC and DC is good. So now I will perform the dielectric strength test between ground and AC DC. So this is a safety test. So we turn it up again to 2.5 kilovolts, which it should also pass uh, according to the official uh, relay uh, manufacturer data. So let's have a look. So 2 kV. Oh shit, it just fails at 2 kV. Um, okay, 2 kV it is. Okay, failing to ground in 2 kV for me is not a big issue. Just need to make sure you ground everything. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe and see you guys next time, bye.